Hi, everyone. I'm Jamie Hopkins with the Egan Community Foundation, and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about our scholarship program. The program started in 1990, and since then, we've awarded over $2 million in scholarships to 2,222 2 students that either live in Egan or go to school in Egan. In addition to our scholarship program, we also support other community needs through our grants program and other initiatives such, such as the recent COVID-19 relief fund. In this year's scholarship program, we expect about 50 different scholarship donors to participate. We'll be able to award about 100 scholarships totaling around $115,000. The scholarships will range from $500 to $2,000 with the average award just over $1,000. We'll have an award ceremony this year on May 17th. Not all of our scholarships are driven solely by academics. Only a few of our donors list high academic achievement as their number one criteria. A lot of our scholarships are given to well-rounded students with a strong composite score. That score is a combination of academics, such as GPA and SAT, different activities, school activities, sports, performing arts, volunteering in the community, having a job and working, and a mandatory essay. And there are scholarships for students that are headed to either two-year institutions or four-year institutions. This chart shows some of the different criteria for the scholarships we offer. You can see a wide range, so you mostly qualify for at least one. The largest blue slice is um, at, the, at the bottom left is athletics. A lot of our donors are athletic booster clubs, so have scholarships representing about 15 different sports. The large brown slice of the pie in the upper left represents our field of study scholarships. We have donors that want to support students looking to study art, auto care, education, foreign language, business, computer science, journalism, and more. The larger gray slice on the right represents donors focused on a well-rounded student with a strong composite score that we talked about earlier. Some of the other scholarships include those for students from immigrant families, students with high financial need, students that volunteer a lot in the community or that have overcome significant hardships. Here is a quick peek at the names of the 2022 scholarship recipients. So take a look right now. Do you recognize any of these students? Do you feel like your student profile is similar to some of those? Do you play the same sport? Are you in the same clubs, take similar classes? If they are on this list, and if they were here today, I'm guessing they tell you to take the chance and apply. So how do you apply? You can access the application through our website at eganfoundation.org. You fill out one application and you'll automatically be considered for any scholarships for which you qualify. You can only win one scholarship. Because it is just one application form for over 100 scholarships, there are lots of questions. Be thorough. Each year, about 10% of the Applications are incomplete and disqualified. Expect to spend a few hours on the application itself and the mandatory essay. The deadline is 11.59 p.m. on February 24th, and that's a hard close. Um, no matter computer failure or internet outage, there's nothing we can do. Again, you'll go to our website at eganfoundation.org and navigate to our Apply for a Scholarship page. You can read the policy instructions and learn more about some of the scholarships. Click on the link to start or resume the application. That will take you to the website that hosts the application. Your first time you'll register as a new user. You'll fill out some basic information to create an account. Be sure to write down your username and password. They are very tricky for us to hunt down. Then start filling out your application. You can save and return. Each time you return, you'll want to head back to the website and start on the portal at eganfoundation.org. During the application process, there's an area where we ask you for your photo. We also ask for some biographical questions like your hobbies, favorite high school memory, things like that. If you are awarded a scholarship, your photo and some of these responses to the questions uh, may be published in our awards booklet, which you can see here. Please pay attention to that section of the application. Don't put anything in there that you don't want to share with your fellow award recipients, parents, and donors. So that's the bulk of the information. There are some FAQs on our website. We'll be posting um, on social media over the next few weeks. If you have any questions, reach out. We also have a scholarship drop-in scheduled on February 1st at Westcott Library from 3 to 7 p.m. If you want to stop by there and ask some questions, know that each of you has done something that qualifies you probably for at least one of these scholarships. Help yourself, help your parents, take the time to apply. Think about the potential payoff. If it just takes you three to five hours to be awarded a thousand dollar scholarship, that's a great return on your investment. The scholarship donors want to honor you for your hard work. We really hope you'll take
the time to apply. Thanks so much.